Welcome back to the morning show. My favorite time of the week. I always love to see the wise guy. Now he's here in person for Wise Guy it's Wednesday. Kind of breathtaking, isn't it? Yes, it is, really. And he brought me a present, a big <laughs> bucket of liquid nitrogen. You know how Robert loves this stuff. You can have it. You can Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Well, we'll see what's left after the ice cream. Oh, yeah. Well, we're going to make some ice cream. And you have to ask yourself, what if you just take that pumpkin pie out of the oven for Thanksgiving and you realize you don't have any ice cream and you have to serve ice cream in 30 seconds. What are you going to do? Well, of course, liquid nitrogen to the rescue. Okay. <laughs> Which is a yeah, yeah. 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 That's right. And, and so, really, the ingredients for ice cream are basically cream and sugar. Mm -hmm. And so you can't go wrong when you make this stuff. And, and, and cold. So I'm going to pour in a bunch of half and half into my bowl. About half this thing. And then... Just for added health, we're going to put some heavy, heavy cream in here. Oh, oh yes. There we added go. health. That's Woo. right. And then we're going to have... We should have Dr. Z here to certify this. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Then we put in a bunch of sugar. What, a cup or so? Of that's powdered sugar. Just powdered sugar, mm. something like that. And then, just for good measure, some vanilla. About... I see you measure very carefully. Mark of a good cook. That's right. <laughs> Eyeball it. Okay. I like that. <laughs> then we start to stir. And now, Robert, if you would be so good as to start to pour that in here, just kind of slowly. Oh my gosh, you've let Robert there we go. With this stuff. And and the best part oh. of this is it looks okay. Let's stop for a second. And as it cools, it looks really it looks interesting really too, cool. doesn't it? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of like a witch's brew. And then it starts to get thick. That is a cold fog coming out of that. Oh, yeah. That is. I know. That's My right. hands are really cold here. Okay. Now, now I have to start using my other stirring device. If you would pour a little more in there. Sure. My pleasure. <laughs> Robert oh, lives really? for these things, Matt. Oh, yeah. This is fun. I, I take this home sometimes just to play. That's fine. That's your... <laughs> okay. Now, once it's all kind of frozen, which is... This, it is frozen. It's pretty much frozen now then we can eat it. And you don't have to measure the liquid nitrogen because any extra will boil off, right? That's right. Nitrogen is just the same stuff as air, pretty much. Oh, and so good. it's not going to hurt you, and it, and it just evaporates very quickly. So there we go. So let's try this. Are you okay. going to be our, our taster? Oh, sure. No, no, I will be the taster. No, wait a oh, okay. Yeah. Matt was off making a phone call trying to get recipes for tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so here's And something. suddenly I'm back I'm just in time you. for the food. This is really cold ice cream. It is cold. It's colder than... Freeze your face off cold? Yeah, it could. Oh, no. It, it actually warms up pretty quickly. And it's, mm. it's pretty yummy. Okay, you that's do this good. Right. Right. Thank you, Matt. I do. I do this. I do this at home sometimes. The kids like it, mm. especially on a hot day. Now, it's not a hot day today, so we're stretching well, it a little you. bit. Now, I have a question. How can an average Joe who's not a physics teacher or a scientist get hold of some of this stuff? <laughs> I don't really know. But don't if think you really, really need to, it, you, you can you? talk to me. Hmm? You're not really supposed to, are you? Isn't it? Probably not. <laughs> Doesn't it come on trucks with big sides? Great ice cream, though. You it can. is. Mm. Ellie, our oh. producer Ellie brought sprinkles. That's right. Oh, ice cream. Okay, well, that's the same when the chef himself isn't eating. Oh, well, I was talking. It means now that it's safe, he can try it. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> now that you guys didn't fall over, no, I'm going to have some. <laughs> This is really good. This is great. So I want to thank people again for sending in questions and answers to all the questions that I have. It's really a lot of fun to answer them and to, to get people to interact and stuff like that. So it's been great fun for me. And uh, again, if you want to go and find out more in depth about the physics that we're doing that I don't have time to talk about here, just go to the website. Yeah, special holiday treat from us, from or for us, from Matt. Thank you very much. And if you've got thank questions you. for our Wise Guy segment, feel free to write to Matt. You can email him here at WCIA, or you've got your own email address, right? I, I do. It's wiseguy, dot, uh, wiseguy at uic.edu. And by the way, for the question for next week, I hope you can still hear me, is why do we put salt on icy roads? Okay, so I want people to answer that question. Okay. okay. We'll you know try. the answer? Use the email address. Let's take a look at our seven-day outlook very quickly. 